Hello friends and Spunky Play Brothers and please remember to subscribe to our YouTube and today I'm unboxing and reviewing the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface by NECA. So this is what it looks like. And the front of it is the cover of the movie because it says you can see that it has all this stuff right here and has the rated R thing right there. And then this says the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is the tragic tale of five young friends who venture into rural Texas one hot afternoon and become victims in one of the most bizarre and brutal crimes in Travis country history. Many of them meet a horrifying end at the hands of the murderous lunatic Leatherface and what comes to be known as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This, this movie was based on true events and they made a game based on this movie. And now let's unbox it. And I, pl and I played the video game recently and it was pretty fun. It was like the Friday the 13th video game. All right, he has a background Alright, so first here's the background. It looks pretty cool. Just like in the house. And then he has some accessories. Let's see. He has, he comes with this meat hook. This meat hook. Then he has a butcher knife. Or a butchered thing. Then he has a uh, some sort of knife and a hammer, and then of course a chainsaw. His chainsaw. I think this is one of the chainsaw skins that's in the game too. And then he comes with another head. Which is also a skin in the game, except it comes with a different uh, costume. Oh, he has one on his waist, but it's covered by his cloth. So his tie is kind of like a plastic, like his clothes, except it's movable. And his thing's cloth and it's movable, which is cool too. The detail on his face is also pretty cool. And he has a little bone bracelet. Right here, bone bracelet on his arm. This is a pretty cool figure, and then you could change out the heads to make it uh, look like the old lady. I'm pretty sure this was. That's what the costume's called. And then I think that this this changed, and the tie wasn't here for the costume, which is pretty cool. But then in the game, they have different chain skins, and then once you beat Leatherface a certain amount of times, they let you have different skins, like the pretty lady skin, and then this old lady skin, which comes with this head, and then different costume. And there's also the original Leatherface which was pretty cool. And the game is really fun too. You should go check it out. And the movies are pretty cool. Texas Chainsaw 1 and 2, part 1 and part 2. And then those were pretty fun movies. I haven't watched part 3 yet because we got all we need to know out of part 1 and 2. We don't need to see the third one. And I rate this figure a 10 out of 10. It's a really cool figure. I like all the accessories. I like the way the chainsaw is made. I really like the way the chainsaw is made because uh, you can probably, yeah, you, you can't stick in sand. They even added the detail of the little thing right here that you can pull to turn on the chainsaw, which is cool. It can't pull out, but it's still pretty cool that they added it. And then uh, 
you could probably do something with this meat hook. Like, prop it up on something with this and then put a victim or a random action figure on it. And then you can make Leatherface terrorize them. And it's pretty cool. I don't remember this knife being in the movies or the games, though. Nor this butcher knife. I don't think he used any of these, actually. Just the chainsaw. But uh, this is a pretty cool figure. I like the chainsaw and him, and I rate them a 10 out of 10. So, friends, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow us on Twitter at the Funky Play Bros. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Funky Play Brothers. Support our vlog at Cash App, the dollar sign Funky Play Brothers, to have more unboxings, more taste tests, more adventures, more monies, and for support. Thank you for watching. Bye.